Bloody Mondays, you're very welcome into Near FM. Um, have you been in before, no? Uh, no, no. I know you haven't been on our show, but you're all kind of local enough too, aren't you? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coolock and Colester. Coolock and Colester, so the travel wasn't too bad on this wet and windy no. evening. Happy days. How long have you been together as a band, lads? Who was it, three years? Or something About like? three years. Me and Kieran have been playing for a long time, probably last five years, maybe six. Yeah. But uh, we all got together probably last three years and then um, really just start recording, play. We, me and Kieran have been writing songs for years and mm-hmm. when we got Kevin for drums, kind of just started recording our own uh, kind of four track demos. Yeah. And uh, pretty mm-hmm. much hit it, hit it off then. It worked out perfectly because like, I had been listening to them. Right. And so when so you, you, you were familiar with the stuff. Yeah, yeah. When the drummer left, I just knew the stuff right away. So it was so like, you, you fit right in. So yeah, he, yeah. he was waiting in line. He was, you know. <laughs> I had my eye them, you know? on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happy days, cool. Um, if you were to describe your music to somebody, what sort of music, if you were to compare yourself to some other, say, artists, um, what would you say your music sounds like? Well, there's a lot of influences. We have American and British mm-hmm. style influences. Like, mm. I'd, I'd be like, I'm into me Britpop type, Blur, Oasis, the, the, the two well known ones. Uh, in bands like the Smiths, yeah. Beatles, and Kieran would have. And they got the 60s music, I'm into 60s, it, the Doors, yeah. uh, Rolling Stones, cool. all that from the Amer- England and America, all that stuff. And some of the newer bands like Black Rebel Motorcycle Club yeah. from America. They're a big influence. Cool. And how do you find the two, like, do you, do you treat your music in the sense that would you write one song and you write another song, or do you co-write together, or...? Everything. Uh, both. Yeah. 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 Both. Usually, we, yeah, it did start that way. We were kind of just, I'd write one song, yeah. bring it, and then... Kieran, yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> but yeah. we've kind of been merging a lot lately, and also when Kev comes in with the drums and it becomes electric, it adds mm. another dimension to the whole music. So, as well. so, do you find then that your influences, your own sort of different tastes, do, you, do they blend well in, in, when it comes to writing in that sense? You know, D- they actually do. They actually yeah. do. It kind of gives it a unique sound. Like Which it's not good. just one thing. Yeah. It, if you put two things together, you sort of get a new sound and yeah, that a fusion. Happens. Yeah. I think, I think you can hear a lot of our influences in in our songs. Like it's. Like, uh, there'll be parts of, say, whatever I'm into mm-hmm. and parts of what Kieran's into. Like, yeah, you can tell it's like, oh, that's a bluesy sound, it's pretty Kieran's yeah. or something, you know. Or you yeah. hear a bit of Pixies and things like that, you know. You hear different bands and yeah. certain songs and you can usually pick them up and say, oh, that sounds like a Joy Division kind of song. Not, yeah. not, not that we're ripping off songs, right? No, no, <laughs> no, but obviously, parts I mean, songs. <laughs> obviously when you got into writing music originally, it was yeah. probably from listening to different bands that you were like, I'd like to do that and yeah, I'd like exactly. yeah, to yeah, be involved. Yeah. So, of course, it's going to have an influence on the way mm. yeah. you approach things and I stuff. T- I think yeah. that's a good thing when, yeah. when you hear that in people's music yeah. coming out, you know, rather than being too original. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing that kind of happens works. is, do you know if you have like a phase where you're into a certain band mm-hmm. or you're into a certain type of music from yeah. like, let's say, particular time like 60s or 70s mm-hmm. uh, you'll write music kind of similar to that you know during that time yeah because you're on that buzz at that yeah. time yeah, yeah you're in that buzz exactly. like riffs or something like that yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. usually as well I would be uh, playing the bass when we're doing electric okay. uh, gigs and all that kind of thing I'd be playing the bass uh-huh. so I'd uh, write a lot of songs in on the bass so I'd have you know a verse and a chorus or something like that yeah. come along with a bass line and maybe some lyrics and then I'd bring it to the lads and then Al would come up with a rhythm yeah. Rhythm section and lead section, that kind of thing, and then Kay will fill in. That's quite yeah. an interesting way of doing it all, right? Yeah. Um, I guess it means you're, I mean, from a bass perspective, um, I guess writing initially on a bass, you're kind of, you're, um, it's scaled down in the sense yeah, yeah. that, you know, it's it's um, a little bit easier to sort of play around with, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's the same with me, like, uh, I'm not a proper guitarist, but I play a little bit of guitar, mm-hmm. and uh, I'll just write riffs, and every now and again, I'll just be like, here, Kieran, or I'll check yeah. this out. Yeah. And they kind of put their thing to it, and again, doing a new thing, you know, yeah. that's cool. This is actually four song that we're going to play, is it like that? It's a fusion, as well as you said earlier. Well, Kev started the song, yeah. and then you gave it to Al, and then put the chorus on it and everything else, you know. Okay. So you can hear yeah. kind of two different styles there. Yeah. Cool. And what's the track about, if you don't mind me asking? I don't know what the uh, <laughs> you look at me. Uh, <laughs> uh, All eyes. It's kind. Of, I don't know. It's hard to describe one, but usually a song becomes about something. As I'm writing it, okay. or just a go by melody, but it's, it's kind of about being a stalker, <laughs> <laughs> but in, in a nice way. In a nice way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm intrigued to hear this fusion you know. music. So, would you mind playing it for us? No problem. Yeah. Cool. What's it called, sir? Uh, this one's called Wherever. Excellent. Cool. Cool. All right.
sheep Well, let's all go pee All day in your dreams Can you escape me? Why would you want to? Lads, I really like that track. Um, if people wanted to check it out, could they get it anywhere online, or is that? Yeah, they could. Yeah. Uh, we have a Facebook page. And yeah, actually, we have a few ver- versions of that song on different uh, different sites. sites. There's one on uh, MySpace, I think it is. Then there's another one on SoundCloud, is it? Yeah, and uh, Reverb Nation. breaking tunes as well. And what are the what's the address? How would people go about finding it? Do they just? Uh, well, face Facebook slash Bloody Mondays. Cool. And same breaking tunes dot com slash bloody mondays cool and there's uh, links i think from uh, fa- from the facebook page so will bring it to the soundcloud yeah. uh, and reverb nation and all that okay uh, our know, facebook is really our main one and everything yeah. else follows so it's like soundcloud reverb yeah. nation you can stream the songs tunes, from, from yeah. there yeah. cool tell me a little bit about the ep that you released um there it was a february uh, it's february it's a it's, it's, uh, single demo called park lane mm-hmm uh, we recorded it in February in uh, on the Richmond's Road Chart House recordings. Yes. With um, Ian McNulty. Yeah, I know Ian actually. Yeah. yeah we got a like ten hour a day session. Cool. Ian and Lucy down there are really actually. Yeah, they're, all, they're all really great. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were great. And like we've worked with other kind of sound engineers. Didn't really work out. Didn't suit our style. But mm-hmm. he was just going for whatever we we wanted. Recorded live. Yeah. And put a few tracks over, and it's turned out really well. We've got a lot of great attention. Our kind of great feedback about that song yeah yeah we've got gigs it's all hit off yeah. after that so. and the actual recording sessions themselves did you do it over a one ten hour period or two five hours or what sort uh, of way did you approach kind of it just the one ten hour one period yeah. and did you find that that's quite a long period of time to yeah. be cooped it, up it, in the studio actually, it actually worked like better in my mm-hmm. opinion because it was like we sort of built energy you know throughout the day because mm. it was like at first, you know, it's hard to just to kick into it, mm. but then throughout the day, we kind of got more and more into it. Yeah. And 
just nailed it. I just thought it went great. And you were saying sort of you did the the basis of it as a sort of a live as it's playing together. Yeah. Was that sort of um, a purposely done thing in terms of with the style of music? Sort of if you're into sixties and seventies music, was that something that you decided to do for that reason to get the sound, or what way? What was your decision for doing it live together? Yeah, if you get I me? think we we wanted to just capture ourselves live. We we play better live. I yeah. Think. And we have tried recording before. Yeah. Uh, separate tracks like say yeah, yeah, force, like that. That bass was... drums and it just felt we to also found it very it sounded very separate mm -hmm. and, as well we were practicing you know, it together you know over and over yeah, yeah. we're practicing the same song you know yeah. to, just to yeah. work on just it. didn't get, get the same energy you know when it's yeah, yeah. you got a feeling just, out of this one yeah. Okay. Yeah. well that's good I mean I, I get what you mean I guess you, you are in the zone together sort yeah. of basically yeah. Yeah. and do you find when you're gigging live is there good chemistry on stage between you yeah definitely yeah, yeah. 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 You rely on each other, or is it is there a one man show at all? Oh, it's, yeah. it's team, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> team. We're, like we're all looking for the cues and that kind of thing. You know, somebody was like, "There's oh. a lot of nodding going on, you know, yeah. and, and winking." Wink. And all. Yeah, a lot of winking. <laughs> we have our own secret. Yeah, team. More winking than nodding. <laughs> cool. And are you still many gigs? Yeah, I've done a fair bit now in the last mm, while. Yeah, we have. Um, we're looking to get more uh, in July, but we have Saucy Saucy Sundays, 29th of July in Grand Social. Cool. And um, uh, we're doing Balcony TV. And yeah, before that. Yeah. Before that, yeah. Cool. And we're doing uh, a festival in uh, is it August. In August, the Ballinamore yeah. Free Fringe Festival. It's in uh, County Leitrim. Leitrim. Cool. Yeah. A lot of big. a lot of unsigned bands and that. So it's yeah, that's great. Yeah. Actually, it, some of the bands you were talking about earlier are going to be there. Oh yeah. Pro Black Chicken. They're going to be there. Yeah, well, Crow Black Chicken are everywhere this summer. They're yeah. literally like I was on. Yeah, they are. They're a great band. But I was looking at their tour dates and. They they literally just play everywhere every yeah. night like so fair play to them for that's getting what, around. That's what we're after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. If Crow Flag Chicken are, are listening in, maybe you could support them. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Yeah. That's why he said it. Yeah. <laughs> um, happy day. So that's up in Leitrim in August. Is that what you said? That's right. Yeah. The twenty fourth of August. It's cool. a whole weekend thing. We're playing the twenty fourth anyway. So cool. Well, definitely check that out. Could we get another track? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sure could. Uh, this one's called Dead to the World. Cool. And so. is this um. How how old is this song now? Or? Uh, we've had this a while. This might actually be a year old, but we didn't actually start working on it. Yeah, we've we, had it for a long time. We played it electric as a band. It's right. only in the last few weeks we just started doing acoustic. Okay. Yeah. We started trying really to harmonica sound and things. Great, so. like, I like that song. Cool. So we've got the addition of harmonica in this one yeah. now. It's yourself. Um, and okay, we'll take it away. Cool. Okay. That's one, two, three, four. Under my feet, my mind made up subliminally From words expressed in front of me But me, I'm dead to the world, you see Give it away, give yourself away Everything here's to say of today Give it away, give your life away Throw yourself in it, I road, you're of no value here Just a nothing child Every day another kick up the ass To see this town wash down the pan And nothing could make me happier, you see Throw them at me, throw your images at me My mind made dumb subliminally And I tried all I can to escape the horror of being but my camouflage is fading You're figuring me out so Give it away, give yourself away Everything here's a sale today Yourself in the streets, yet don't stand a chance. Away, away from here, away, away to where, away, away from here, away, away to where.
great stuff, excellent stuff there from Bloody Mondays. Thanks a million for that, lads. I can really feel the influences that you were talking about earlier in those tracks. So I think it's, it's right. safe to say they do come yeah. across. But great tracks, fair play. So tell me, what's next on the cards now for you? What's, what's the next step? What do you plan to do in the next couple of months? Apart from gigging, um, where are you going to go? Is it a, another single that you're going to do? Or are you going to go for the EP? Or uh, The EP is really the yeah. main focus. Yeah. So we're thinking maybe... Maybe three, four songs, mm -hmm. an album, and uh, do it properly, like proper cover. Mm. Maybe just get our net, send it out and about. Yeah. Get our name out. More songs are better, I think, because we, we've got properly two songs, two, three songs on our site, like maybe, so prop, These proper, them properly yeah. recorded. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do uh, kind of different as well from the last time. Uh, we're going to do a live recording of okay. the whole thing, a whole song like that. And yeah. uh, like straight through, you know. Yeah, See yeah. You, how good we can capture the live sound. Yeah. And then maybe even on the EP you throw in an acoustic song or something. I get what you mean, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's a good way of doing it in the sense that um, you're capturing the moments in that yeah. sense um, and you're capturing the live energy, I guess, as well. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we, we have a lot of songs. Really, yeah. we do. Right. So we really want to get some recorded so we can sort of move on a bit because there are some great songs that we haven't done in a while that mm. we're sort of like, Jamie, like... You know, want to do and that again do they still get that. an airing though in your set, or has it come to the stage now where you've got so many songs that you can't fit yeah, them some all in? The, or? They're in the, the backlog, do you know what I mean? The archives and that kind of thing. Yeah. Some songs that we've we played them out, do you know what I mean? Last year or the year mm. before. Yeah. And now, as good as they are, like as tight as we have them and all, we, yeah. just, we keep writing. Like we're real yeah, prolific yeah. in that sense, you know, we're always writing songs. The well, that's good. So there's songs in the archives, they say, do you know what I mean? That's I'm good. Still writing one. It, 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 you, you're talking about the, they've had sort of they've been played out and yeah. stuff like that. I guess if to to bring it back to you know the the musicians who be touring playing the same songs every day, it must it must get really really tedious for them to be playing the same tracks like Definitely, the same set yeah. list for say sixty or seventy dates. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it would have to be. Yeah. It must do. And I, but I again, they they, do they, they they feed off the, the energy from the crowd and everything. You know, yeah. the crowd entices them. Yeah, so that's true. Sometimes they get their enjoyment doing that. As well, true. You know? And I guess also at the same time, when they do get to change it around and they pull out old songs out of the cupboard and that sort of thing, I guess for them it must be interesting. Then, much like I'd say, it'll be for you guys when you bring back those songs yeah. and get a chance to play them again and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes we do, always, yeah. yeah. As well, it's good to keep like it's in a way it is good sometimes to keep the same set because you get used to those songs. Like, we've done a mm. kind of gigs, we've played, say, five songs in a set and mm -hmm. kept it the same way. We really For the next few gigs, on. the same five songs. Because li live can be different than yeah. us practising. So yeah. it's, and it's as well, some, sometimes story. we're getting, like, good feedback off the people in the audience who go to them and say, oh, I like that tour song, or, you know, yeah. fast yeah. song, or, you know, slow song, whatever way they describe it, you know. Sometimes yeah. we get some good feedback off people. Like, strangers coming up to us. It's and nice. Up afterwards, you know, and say, "Oh, that was a really good." Song. Must be quite humbling in that sense. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes yeah, yeah. they say, "Oh, you sound like such and such." Like we got told, uh, "You sound like the Jesus and Mary chain before yeah. years ago." That was about five years ago or something. That somebody uh -huh. said to us. The monkeys. Something like that. <laughs> 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 we look like the monkeys. Yeah, yeah that's said. it. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Cool, yeah. So just to remind people, we'll be finishing off in a, in a few minutes with a track. But to remind people of the dates that you said for those gigs again was. Well, we have um, uh, the first gig. We this have the saucy, 29th Saucy Sundays of Grand Social, 29th of July, mm -hmm. and um, the Balnamore Free Fringe Fest, 24th of August, August. and the 26th is uh, Sunday Roast in the American Toil. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, Balcony TV is the 8th of July, so that's, that's a kind of. Warm that's up the, that's the, the closest <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. All right, so keep an eye on Balcony TV and um, your own websites as well. Then that's facebook.com forward slash bloody Monday. Right, yeah. Cool. Before you go, we have to ask you the cheesy questions that every band gets asked. Yeah. Um, okay, this is so. Where I was yeah, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off with keep it interesting. What is the most embarrassing song that you have on your media player or computer? And. I don't know who wants to go first. You, you, you look like you have an answer, so I'm gonna oh, go. I have so many embarrassing go songs. Go on, tell I us. I would not let my MP3 out, you know, on <laughs> Katy Perry and all this business. Oh, you know. oh, oh. We didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said it at all. It's, it, it's been committed to air now. It's, it's been broadcast. Yeah, no going back. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else give me one. Go on. I don't know, I think Prince or something like that, you know. Yeah, nothing wrong with Prince. <laughs> nothing wrong yeah, with Prince. Yeah, but everything else is rock and blues and things like that, you know. And then okay. next thing you know, purple rain. <laughs> you know? It would be something wrong <laughs> if you started dressing like him, though. Yeah. Different story. <laughs> it's just your emotional side. I know, you know Prince you? is good, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. Right. But uh, just in comparison to everything else. Just stands be, uh, out. I'd be uh, kind of, you know, keeping that 
no. <laughs> and last but Just not don't least, go to the peers. I was hoping you were going to skip me there, but <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get away with that. I don't easy. know. Uh, Limp biscuit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> new metal. That's, a, that's an old one, though. You know, that's yeah, one song, one song. That new metal phase that was around for about yeah. three years was a scary period. That was me <laughs> <laughs> back in yeah. the day. Yes. Um, cool. And second question is: If you could go on tour with any band in the world, now they don't have to still be together. It doesn't even have to be a band. It could be a singer songwriter. Um, who would it be, and why? And oh, go from left to right. Okay. I like. think it'd be the Doors. I just love. They're my favorite band. Uh -huh. And just I read loads of biographies. I read the the biography from the keyboard player Raymond's Eric. He's some so, man. Yeah, it just some sound, talent. Sound like wild times all the time because he was watching Jim Morrison, you know, from behind his keyboard, and it yeah. looks crazy the whole time. You know, they weren't uh, they throwing uh, things out windows or nothing like that, but just just that Jim Morrison was so unpredictable. You know, he's very. It was very unpredictable. All right, I, it's an interesting one because I'd say he was almost scary at times in the sense. Yeah, that he, yeah he's unpredictable, like yeah. you say exactly. So uh, yeah, but not necessarily in a completely rock yeah. and roll way. In the yeah, like you I say, I definitely like to go on tour with the Doors. Pretty it would be pretty pretty cool. And what about yourself? I go in Nirvana. They're just crazy. Quite contrasting in terms of the doors, but yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the crazy element, the, the, the crazy element, and they're just cool dudes. Yeah, are you yeah. a fan of Nirvana? That their music. Yeah, yeah. Well, not some of their their really heavy stuff because they have some songs that are just mental. Yeah. Um, haven't listened to that stuff in a while, but like they have some stuff that are like kind of more melodic that wouldn't be so crazy, but yeah, definitely to tour with, they'd be deadly. I think maybe on the unplugged album or something as well. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, no, that's a, a good answer. And last but not least, even more contrast than the Smiths. The Smiths. There we go. Yeah, and that's so obvious. Everyone knows I'm a Smiths head. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's just, I just, just love their, mu their music really. And Johnny Marr, greatest guitarist ever. So a big influence. Steal a few tricks, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'd say that'd be really exciting. All right. Any particular period? Uh, oh, oh they just it's hard to pick one. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Would you go on tour with Morrissey these days? Uh, would, but I've heard he's a bit un unapproachable, so... I see. <laughs> I well, know, we, we won't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brilliant. Yeah. Cool, good work, lads. Nice answers. Yeah, All right, thanks. so we're going to finish up with a track. Um, just to remind people again, facebook.com forward slash bloody Mondays. And also catch Balcony TV. All you have to do is click on it on the yeah. July the 8th, and there you so your lovely faces will be yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then live Saucy Sundays and the Sunday Roast that's right excellent thanks a million for coming in lads come back yeah, into us again great. soon especially when, when you've got the new EP out come into us and yeah, we'll yeah definitely. excellent definitely cool what fit, uh, song are you going to finish up with uh, this one's called Home Drum cool thanks a million oh, thanks a lot cheers thanks
it's true what you say to me All the words you say make sense only to me In this one down, humdrum town And a city full of constant frowns Where the low life, second rate kind in their eyes But they're 